Well, 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 what could we have here? Isn't this the Father of the Year Award or the dude with the nipples so hard that he could cut marble? What else have I heard about him? He's a clunk, called clunk, clint, couch, I don't know. So, I don't really have much to say about this dude. Uh... You know, we only know what we perceive on the internet. He's probably a uh, he's probably a good guy. I mean, I don't know many men that age that take care of themselves. I mean, some men over forty are just fat bastards. They got these big old beer guts and no ass at all. And um, you know, they're wearing Wranglers. Like I'm like, could you wear some slacks that's fitted for your body? You know, he he didn't go fat bastard. I don't know how old he is. I think he's younger than um, he's younger than myself. He's ever bit late forties, hitting fifties. He has to be because my oldest child is forty. So, and I started early. Um, I'm a hundred years old, just so you know. <laughs> I I was emancipated at fifteen, so I've been on my own since fifteen. So I'm a lot older than I really really feel. But anyway, so. I was I'm I was top kid when I was little. I was like, you know what? I, I had a shitty childhood. I didn't have no toys. And when I grew up, I said I'm gonna buy every damn toy that I wanted. And this room is slap full of them. I just ain't dug them out yet. So I did find this, and I thought, hmm, 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 hmm. So. Now let's do a little history about this. Okay, this, if you know, you know. And I bought this years ago. This is not the original one. Um, they do make some old school toys they still make. I can't remember where I found this. It came with the little, little red thing and the magnet is flat. Now you used to be able to hold them and take the magnet underneath and move it but as you can see it, it over time it has gotten pushed down okay yeah it's almost flat but it does move this away so i thought that i would do a portrait since mr photography here and excuse me, let me just add, if he thinks he's a photographer in the 70s and the 80s, before all the technology and the digital cameras, we had to go in a dark room, and we had to have pH water and pH paper. I mean, I'm old, old school. Photography today, the cameras does everything for you except edit, and I, I don't know, I don't use those high dollar cameras. But I do know that them cameras are expensive as fuck and they do a lot of shit because you can tell the good YouTubers who has the good equipment and who just has uh, <laughs> these, that, this, that. So anyway, when I was a kid, this was pretty fun. It was a cheap toy, you know. Back then, <laughs> back then, I'm 100, but these were real popular in the 70s. They probably was in the 60s. I never could quite understand why it had a divot in the middle, but... um. The last time I did this, I sent it to Vinny Paul, and uh, he actually saw it because uh, one of my ex-husbands was a um, concert promoter at Carolina Rebellion, and uh, rest in peace, Vinny. Um, a lot of times when they would do rehearsals and my people was out there, we could go by and run into people. Um, the last Carolina Rebellion, I met Sammy Hagar, uh, Rick Flair, who I had met many times because he was very popular where we're at, and uh, Chuck Billy from Testament, that was the coolest fucking thing ever. And then I met Big Dad from Texas Hippie, but we go back. I know them boys from Texas when I was down there running the road, so <laughs> don't make fun of 100-year-old people. We got stories. We ain't stupid. We raised all y'all. And again, what kills me is when these 30-year-olds go, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> you just got to start a child, please. Anyway, back to this. So when I was a kid, 
we had these. It's the same. It's the same thing. It has not changed a bit. It doesn't have a well. There's a patent pending, but oh shit! I do not know Roman numerals. So whatever one, um, I have no clue. I will have. To, damn, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But okay, so see, you could do it from the top. Do not remove or open cover. Over. Well, no, of course we wouldn't do that. Not when you're a kid. Why well, play with it? Because most kids will want to tear it up <laughs> to get that out, and it's no good once it's out. But anyway, you can make all kinds. So I, when I saw this the other day and I saw that face, I was like, huh? Where have I seen that face before? Aha, uh -huh, grasshopper. So today, we're going to pull up Bob Ross. You're going to have to forgive my, my light. Because um, even if I cut the camera on, it's going to... Well, we'll see. All right, so I'm going to attempt to draw him like he draws all his girls. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, so dude's got a mustache. Let's get him on. And this is so not easy. I, as a kid, I was like, we was making all kinds of stuff when I was a kid doing this. So I thought, well, let's clown on Clint because apparently Josh is still hibernating in the closet while Cool Taste, I saw Cool Taste was driving a car. I'm like, is this shit for real? Seriously? His Tesla must have been in the shop. What the hell? But anyway, Kings of Casper. Who knew? All right, so... I'm trying to get that mustache. It's, it's pretty tight. And this is not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I thought it'd be a funny little video. All right. We got to drag some more up towards his mouth. All right. Let's take this down. Oh, yeah. He got them pearly, them pearly yellows. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll get one of my big refrigerator magnets. Tear this mug up. Oh, come on. I should give him a Hitler mustache. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, cool. We, we getting there. Okay, we're going to need a little, just a little bit more. Okay. Now clean this face up. All right, what do you think? Hmm? Hmm. A or B? Okay. Need to tighten this up a little bit. All right. I'm happy with that. Okay, now we got to do the goatee. Do, do men really still wear goatees? My husband has a baby face, and I love it. Uh, I only like facial hair on men if they got long hair and they look like they're Vikings. I like big, hairy dudes that like heavy metal. <laughs> and I'm married to exact, exact opposite. Sorry, that's my machinery. I married the exact opposite of what I'm attracted to. What I was attracted to. I'm sorry, I've been married a long time, but anyway. I would never date a guy with no hair once upon a time. All right, so now, let me sure I'm still here. Eight minutes, oh Lord, I gotta hurry up. Okay, now he's, we gotta do the goatee. So luckily my husband shaved it off. I'm like, thank God. Uh oh, okay, now we gotta, we gotta, gotta make that line real slim. Okay. Okay, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my uh, monitor. Don't pay it no attention. All right, that's it. You're going with me. Uh, I need a stronger magnet. Hello, Oscar. Do you mind? Can I get out? That's my old boy. That's old boy. Let me, um, see, isn't it pretty today? Let's see how hot it is. I'm up walking today. Woohoo! It is, uh, 
I ain't got my glasses on. I can't even see that. 85. Hang on, let me do this uh, machine so it will shut up. Just gonna cut it off. Okay. It's in there. <laughs> um, the pie was a hit. Hubby loved it. We had, uh, it didn't set up, if you saw my previous video, it didn't, I only had two things of cream cheese. I would recommend three if you follow that recipe. Um, it wasn't as firm as I wanted it to be, and I real I only had two things of cream cheese. You really need three, four if you want it stiff. Anyway, I come to get, try to find the, there we are, we're in love. <laughs> you don't need to see what we look like. Here we are again, in love, and yes, I have red hair. I do favor my picture, my icon picture. Okay, which, why am I using this? Let me give you something to look at while I find the damn. Okay, maybe, maybe this one will work. No, that's gonna move too much. I might just have to go in there and put up with it. This is my favorite magnet. And my Jeep Cherokee, my beloved Jeep. Ooh. I just got my hands dirty. Anyway, that come off one of my Jeeps. Okay, here's one. That's tiny. Oh, it's a little ladybug. Okay, sorry, I'm just here looking. I ain't seen these myself. All right, but my favorite one. Come on. This is my happy face. Tommy Lee Jones said that in a movie. I can't remember what it was. Okay. We worked on the couch. Soon I'll have the parlor done. There's my Queen Anne where I'm going to lounge with the greenery and my, is it my fish tank? Okay. ADHT squirrel. Wait a minute. Back here. <gasps> Kitty. See what I mean? <laughs> when I quit taking the attention deficit, I'm all over the place. But I'm that kind of person. I'm energetic, but yet fighting paralysis. <sighs> and uh, uh, lung disease. Okay, Matt, where was we? All right, I'm kind of scared this is going to drag it. I'm trying to pull it down. So I can see the end of his face, because I don't want to do this all over again. Does magnet go back? Okay, we're getting there. All right, but I'm still going to have to draw from here. Oh, right, where were we? Goatee. So, yeah, the husband's donned this look for a while, and I was like, I can't stand it. Please, give me my baby face back. Okay. Oh, Lord. He ain't gonna have no damn chin at all. <laughs> Oops. I'm so glad we, as women we have to shave everything but our face. Okay, this isn't exactly what I was going for, but uh, it's a look. I'm sure as jovial as he likes to come across, he would get a good laugh at this. But he's probably busy whooping Josh's ass. Go clean your room, boy. <laughs> all right. Seeing as all this is piled down here and I can't get it to go away, we will never... Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Shit. <laughs> here we go again. It's going to turn into a three-hour video. What the hell? Okay, you get the gist. Oh, shit. Am I going to try to do glasses? Why not? Yeah, I cleaned all my phones. And then got them all smeared back up. Um, some good advice. Take your phones apart at least a, a couple of times a week. These things are like money. They've been in somebody's bra. They've been in somebody's purse and the floorboard. And all glove boxes that are center, center boxes have filth in them. So I was like, I got... I got botulism off my phones yesterday. 
I could see what everything I had ate. Um, instead of making him glasses, we'll fruit him up a little bit since I hear he has dressed in drag. There you go. He can borrow mine. <laughs> All right, let me do this sideways. Ta-da! You made it! You are now Wooly Willy coming to a stage near you. And who is that woman in the... I, I did. You'll have to go through my shorts. I did a uh, Family family Matters. Um, it, I made it look like a sitcom. Somebody sent it to me and I thought, Ooh, I'm putting that on my YouTube. Somebody will like that. But yep, there you go. And I will be so glad when these glasses go out of style. People have been wearing these little rectanglers since Andy Dick. Most people know who Andy Dick is, but I am tired of these. Thank God for the cat eye makeup, but the cat eye glasses are coming back. Now, these are Nicole Miller, so, you know, but I'm due for a new pair. I'm kind of bored with these. Um, I like metal frames. I can't, I don't understand how people wear plastic rims. That all they did was slide down my face, so. There you go. Little throwback toy from the 70s. And then when you're done, all right, let's give Clint a whole new face. See it now. Because it's about to be clean shaven face. Clint. <laughs> anyway, so what you do when you're done, and then I'll never be playing with this ever again because I, I, I try to keep my 70s toys. I haven't got all my shit unpacked. This is a big house and a lot for a crippled woman to do. We moved four years ago, but with my back condition, they put me in bed for about two years of treatment, and it, it, it really jacked me up. But see how the magnet from back in the day, which is what I was telling you, mine's flush. But anyway, this is just an old throwback toy. You know, back in my day, because I have to buy for my husband's grandchildren, Back in my day, we had to play with our toys. We played with our dolls. We played with our cars. We played in the dirt. We played and we climbed trees. Nowadays, kids got these things stuck up their damn. Uh, say goodbye. Boy, bye. Move the trash. Move the trash. Okay. There we go. There's my little friend. Hello, honey. I don't think you watch me, but I watch you, and you know who you are. Love you, kiddo. Anyway, I have way too many phones. I'm, I'm all over the place. One phone got jacked up. The other got messed up. The other one's on his last leg. So, once again, I would like to add that... Um, if by any chance my channel doesn't have any more content, I've moved over to Sweet Gypsy Willow. Willow is the name my grandfather used to call me when I was, um, used to climb the weeping willow trees. <laughs> when my granny would say, okay, you got to go get a hickory. And weeping willow, hickory, sti hickory stick whippings. Honey, she would sit from the front porch and do that hickory. Uh, plop. Wrapped around our legs. We looked like we had them. We were Roman soldiers. That's what's wrong with kids nowadays. They can't pray. They don't say the blessing. They don't say the Pledge of Allegiance. I seen a nine-year-old girl the other day with a Gucci pocketbook. I don't even have a Gucci pocketbook. I mean, I got the... Uh, who this? Yeah, I like my Calvin Klein. And my uh, Vera Bradley. Anyway, let me show you. Um, this is dust. I apologize, but stuff like that. Um, these, these, these go for a big price. This is Winnie the Pooh. This is when Tigger got stuck in a tree. Oh, when I was a little kid, I still remember it. Um, I have this one. And these were definitely from the 70s. You can see the film has turned. If you know anything about photography, old school photography, and I do, um, it ain't going to show it here. But if you look right there, it's, it's already turned sepia, which is 
we're the sepia generation. I hate the word baby boomer. But when I wasn't one, I was like, I want to be a baby boomer. Because I was always an older soul. When you're, well, I was emancipated at 15, so I grew up a lot harder and a lot faster than most. Uh, what we got over here? See, when we moved, <laughs> I moved. Oh, I could you Look at that. Go wash my hands. When we moved, it was such short notice. Oh, I might need to. I ain't got to lock nothing up. I'm inside. Um, so, and then, of course, he shows up on my video. But those are hard videos to make. Trust me. Um, these are 70s stuff back here. 70s Avon I'm crazy about. Love thrifting. Used to do it all the time. Now I got a hat. Too I got a big old house for all this stuff, but now I done got too damn sick to hardly do much. But I found this little jewel. Oh, she looks like me when I was a little girl. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Uh, little boy blue. Sounds like my little boy. Song of Sixpence. And uh, yeah, this is all over. This is uh, what it's like living with cats and the. Uh, Excuse me. <laughs> it's new Scotch Guard. Alright. Um, that seems to be a bunch of dusty Nintendo shit that I ain't even went through yet. But anyway, I wanted to show you this and then I gotta go. Good lord, this is 20 minutes. If I can do it. Doggone it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try it this way. Oh, fuck it. This is how it works. <laughs> See? Mother goose. Alright, this is 22 minutes. Thanks for sticking by. Um, Just wanted to make a few, a quick little video. I'm going back to my lonely island and do some edibles and chill. So, uh, in normal fashion, uh, ten toes up, ten toes down. Time to chill. See y'all on the next Real Talk. Thanks for keeping me company. I love all of you. I love all my subscribers. I don't know who you are because I can't get to the desktop. Once again, I gotta wash my hands. Once again, this account, I'm gonna keep it going as long as this phone and that will let me upload. I accidentally deleted something. I fucked up my account. So I'm probably gonna make a second channel to my close ones, to my beloveds, and to my faithfuls. Um... It's either going to be OU812, um, but that does sound a little too much like a Van Halen thing, which I love. I saw both of them. I've seen them a zillion times. But anyway, I'm thinking Sweet Gypsy Willow. Um, but the cool thing about my name is it sucks because I was considered... They're like, are you the real... Are you the killer? I'm like, no, man killer maybe. <laughs> Don't bring him around here. But anyway... Um, it's so funny because my mother is dying of supranuclear palsy and she's been estranged my whole life so I grew up without a mother and it's so hard now because I I guess God just protected me he took me away from her she threw me away I don't even know why I got on this subject but uh, prayers for those that are out there sick on this Mother's Day but if you've got a mama on this Mother's Day consider yourself very blessed to have had one. My mother betrayed me. My only son, even though I raised about seven children that were not mine through marriages, relationships, and just taking in stray kids. And my own kid, he did me dirty, real dirty, thanks to my ex who died. And he still, I don't know, Mother's Day is kind of hard. But I hope wherever you're at that you have a mama and you gave her all her love and her flowers and everything. So... Okay, I was I done said bye, and the thing about being Southern is we talk way too much. So I'm going to say bye, because this is now almost 25 minutes, and if you're still here, you are a real one. Okay, I got to go. I need something to drink, and my hands are nasty. Peace.